This is a tutorial for Unreal Editor 2 for the original Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. In this video we will cover kickers. To get to the kickers you simply have to go to the actor class browser, go to triggers, and select kicker. And then simply right click. And there's the kicker there. So I'm just going to delete this one because I already have one in the map. Right here, let's take a look at the properties. Right click on it, select properties. And everything you need will be in the kicker property here. So the first thing is B kill velocity. You have to set that to true. And what that means is when the player runs towards the kicker, you will kill the existing velocity that the player has so that it starts from zero and this way you eliminate some of the randomness. Part two, B randomize, make that also false because again you want to reduce the randomness of the kicking motion. Leave this one alone and then the kicking velocity. So here you can see there are three components to your kick velocity an X, which is left-right, when I'm in this top-down view, left-right is X, up-down this way is Y, and then the Z is actually the third dimension, which is actually up in the air. So, here you will see in this particular case, as I zoom in in the top view, the X is a negative value, which means I want to kick this way towards the left. The Y is a positive value, which means I want to kick it this way a bit towards the bottom of the screen. And then the Z is a positive 1050, which is up in the air. So push pushing you up into the air like this. So with these three numbers, you are going to have to do a lot of experimentation, trying out different adjustments going back and play testing your map. So I would recommend that you don't add kickers to your map until you have finalized all of the architecture, then put the kickers where they need to be, and then set them up. The next thing I would advise is that you want to, in order to get consistency, you want the player to approach your kicker always from the same direction, not like what I've done here, which is out in the open. You don't want that. So what you want is maybe through a corridor that ends with the kicker so that you always know that the player is going to be coming at it in the same direction. Because what will happen is that when the player gets kicked, they can still do some motion while they're in the air and they may not land properly in your desired spot. So it's critical that you try to control these factors as much as you can. The other thing I've added to the map is simply a texture here from the city package so you can see where the kicker is going to be. Ideally you would like to make a brush for this but uh, just for this example I'm using a texture. And then the next thing is I've got a trigger where the event is called kicked and then a special event where the tag is called kicked and then object initial state play sound effect and then the special event is to play the sound so I got this from Unreal Pickups and I used the jump boot sound and so it'll play a sound when the player triggers the kicker so let's take a look at this in the game here is the texture that I added so you know where the kicker is going to be. And I land right on top of the building to grab the shield belt. So as I say, you will need to do a lot of experimentation to get the kicker velocity exactly correct because you don't want the player to be struggling with it and trying multiple times. So the final thing I wanted to mention about adding a kicker to your map is that you will need to add these items 
as I showed in my basic mover tutorial, which I will link in the bottom, you will need to add two lift exits and one lift center. And all three actors will have the same lift tag. And what that's going to do is it's going to teach the bot to have a starting position, try to get onto the lift center, which is going to be above that kicker that we made, and then the target destination. So here is another lift exit with the same lift tag. So once again, you need two lift exits and one lift center to accompany your kicker. Now, even when you do this, the bots have a tendency to just jump up and down over and over again. So you will need to make sure that your X and Y velocity are high enough to really push the bot forward so they don't keep jumping up and down on the kicker. So in summary, don't just add a Z component to your kick velocity. Make sure you kick the bot in a significant direction.